problema. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> Good morning! It's Lexi's birthday! It is my birthday! And for Lexi's birthday, we are gonna go to Proyecto Asis. It's an animal sanctuary. We're gonna get a tour and volunteer for part of the day. Cool! I'm very excited. So, this morning, we had to stop and get gas. We had to go back to the house to get our rain jackets because we forgot them. And we ate the rest of my very favorite candy bar ever. After we got all checked in, we began our tour of Proyecto Asís with Andrea. Her husband, her husband's father is a veterinarian and had this property to retire on. And what started as a place to retire is now a sanctuary for injured animals that have accumulated over time, a learning tool for everyone about nature, and an example of people choosing to make a positive difference for these animals. Andrea's husband is the director now, and she is very, very involved. She's got her own language with the animals, and they respond to her. There were so many different types of animals, including wild cats, monkeys, birds, pigs, and guatis. After a tour and meeting the animals, we had coffee before preparing the food. prepare food for one of the monkeys. We've been given this cheat sheet here with what we need and the weight and we're gonna put it all together in a bowl and then go feed them. Once all the food was cut and weighed, I was sent outside to cut leaves for monkey fruit tamales, while Lexi filled egg cartons with food. Three, four, five, six. Whew. I'm glad I only had to cut eight of these. Ten is the highest I can count. What are you doing, Lexi? I am sorting out the food for the monkeys. Finally, it's time for the most exciting part, feeding the animals. This part was really interesting because we had no idea what to expect. All we knew was that we had loaded these egg cartons with food and now it was time to give it to them. We learned quickly that the same person really should be the one to feed the animals every day in this kind of environment. It builds trust with the animals. Walter is a caretaker here and works really, really hard to clean the cages, feed the animals, and keep out the occasional stray monkey. 
He guided us around the property, taking our carefully crafted food containers and launching them into the cages. For the monkeys, the alpha is the first to touch the food. You can see the others patiently waiting in their turns. We learned that if the food isn't fairly sorted, the chances of the animals fighting was a lot higher. We must have done fabulously though because no fights! Feeding time was easily my favorite part of the day, but next it was time to get ready to go home. Hey, you have to blow the candle out with your mask on. <laughs> yeah! So fun! It was so nice of you!